What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Token Black, aka Don Zalug. I make sure everybody eats. And we're bringing back a series that I used to have on this channel. I was going pretty heavy with. Goat Format Friday is coming back in a different way. This is a top four deck profile from me, Token Black, that I have of a tournament that I went to last week. So, real cards, and I can't wait to get into this deck profile. But before I do, I want to say shout out to Jorge who gave me this deck before the tournament started, right before, take, took the cards out of his binder, made this deck for me, and then let me keep it so I can get back into the game. So, shout out to Jorge on that. But like I said, I top four with this deck. Uh, the first, I'll go over the round report in a different video, but this will be the deck profile with a little bit of analysis. If you guys want the shorter, just the card version, that'll be on TikTok. So I rock with you guys heavy. If you guys rock with Go Format Friday, hit that sub button so you guys can see more deck profiles from the tournament and also how this deck evolves. So we'll start it off, two apprentice magician, two magician of faith. I really like to, I don't want to lose a lot to Nobleman and Crossout. So I really like two as the as the ratio. With three, you lose a lot if you get hit with Magician of Faith early. But also what the Apprentice Magician does is tutor, 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 float, float, float into more faith or into this. Getting getting your Magician of Faith started early is really important. Uh, two Magical Merchant, just another good flip card. That's how we'll be gaining advantage, but get also helps get monsters in the graveyard and load stuff up for your Chaos Monsters. Two Gravekeeper Spy. I've seen a lot of people playing three. I personally don't like three, and the reason, again, because of Nobleman. You lose so much for playing the third on Nobleman, and actually during the tournament, the third didn't come up. The two just by themselves were creating enough problems. So I think I'll stay with two as far as ratios with that. Uh, two Shining Angel. Three is really unnecessary unless you're playing like Preacher Swap and things like that, which I'm not. So recruiters that you know are going to be able to help gain advantage and put monsters on board to float into other things. We got our monarchs here just our two big powerhouse monsters we're going to do a lot of recruiting a lot of floating and things like that but we have to be able to apply pressure so applying the pressure to back row is really important when you have decks like these um, that depend kind of on battle um, and then Thessalos is just a really good card that I was able to get a chaos sorcerer and burn for 600 late game so pay attention to the burn effect of Thessalos, it's really good. A lot of people forget that effect, but it's really good. And then BLS, Chaos Sorcerer uh, are supposed to be closer to the end, but it doesn't matter now. Uh, we got Sukiyomi, DD Warrior Lady, Breaker, Spirit Reaper, Cyber Jar, Tribe Infecting Virus, and Sangan. So these are our one ofs. Not really an explanation, an explanation needed. I know I've talked a lot of crap about this card specifically, but in a deck like this with so many recruiters and we're gaining advantage, we can set monsters, we can battle, we can do things like that. We just want to float. So Cyberjar is king of floating. And I can't really talk too much crap about it because I'm playing it now. <laughs> Cyberjar in this deck is really good. DD Warrior Lady as our cyber, another um, Shining Angel target. And then I might add another Tsukiyomi or another Chaos Sorcerer. But I really like the just drawing the one. Like, drawing two Chaos Sorcerers is not good, I don't think. Uh, spells, Brain Control, MST, Premature, Nobleman, Snatch, Upstart, Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity. Book of Moon, Heavy Storm, and then two Scapegoat. So, there's no metamorphosis, anything like that. Like I said, Jorge helped me out and gave me this deck right before the tournament, which is perfect because it doesn't require an extra deck. So I don't need an extra deck to, you know, for the deck to do what it's supposed to do. So 
not playing three scapegoat, just the two works well. I'm stalling and doing a lot of things, floating. So this kind of slows the game down, but I don't want to slow it down too much, you know what I mean? Uh, but these are our one ofs. Was playing two noblemen at first, decided to side the second one. Um, Nobleman is a really good card. A lot more people are playing two of them. But I just think for this deck's sake, you only really need to play one. Everything else seems pretty self-explanatory. I would, I am going to add more Book of Moon. I like Book of Moon, especially in this type of deck. So I will be adding more Book of Moon. Uh, and then on to the traps. You got Sakuretsu Armor, Call, Torrential, Mirror Force, Respect the Mirror Force ring and then double dust tornado in a recruiter build i like going at the back row i like being able to clear back row that's why i'm playing mobius rather than you know some other things dust all those but i like being able to clear back row so dust tornado at two and then the rest of them are definitely good um the only thing i change here is probably add another sakuretsu armor somewhere but this ratio here was very good and I love the double dust tornado um, so this deck doesn't have an extra deck and I don't have a side deck like I said he gave me this deck right before the tournament started and I'm so glad that I was able to top four I'm going back not this week but next week um, so you'll definitely be able to see if this deck evolves or anything like that you'll be able to meet some people from the from the local it won't just be me all over <laughs> i rock with you guys super heavy thank you guys and if you rock with go for math friday hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything shorter deck profile will be on tiktok and links to that will be in the description i rock with y'all heavy yes sir